This lesson is about how to draw a cartoon sea turtle. I'm gonna be drawing with a Sharpie, but if you need to draw with a pencil first and then trace with Sharpie, you can. And we'll be coloring with crayons. I'm gonna begin by drawing the shell of my turtle. I'm gonna create a curving line that is gonna be the top of the shell. And then I'm gonna be creating another curving line going the opposite direction for the bottom part of the shell. I'm gonna finish off some details at the bottom by adding in two diagonal lines and another curving line that connects those two, so it starts to look kind of like a UFO, with some little lines as some details, and this is going to be my turtle's shell. I'm then gonna draw in his front flipper, which is a large curving teardrop-shaped line that touches back up to the shell, and his back flipper is just a small curving line that touches to the very end of the shell. Then I'm gonna add in some details by just drawing in some dots on the front and the back flippers. Next, I'm gonna draw in the head by creating a curving line that kind of points down, a straight line that goes back towards the shell, and a curving line that comes up, and swing it all back around to touch the shell so you have a head with the mouth open. Then we can draw in the belly, draw in a little line that touches to that front flipper and swings back to the back. You want to bump and jump around that front flipper and not draw straight through it. For the turtle's eye, I'm just creating a larger circle with a smaller circle on the inside and I like to leave a little bit of a white space when I color in so it looks like a highlight. I added some circles on the back of my turtle's head as well to have some details there. Then I get to come up and draw in some fun shapes for the shell. I chose to just do some random geometric like shapes on the shell to fill in that space. And then I'm gonna draw in the other flippers as well, just by mirroring and mimicking that same line shape that I did for those other two flippers and just making it look like it's on the back side. Then I get to do some fun coloring using my crayons. I used a lighter green for the shell details and the dots, as well as doing a pattern on the shell's bottom rim and coloring in the belly light green as well. And next I used the dark green to finish filling in the spaces that were left white on the shell as well as the fins and the head to finish coloring in my turtle. And once you are done coloring, if you wanna go back and draw any other details around your turtle, you can. If not, you can leave your background white and you have drawn a sea turtle.